Welcome to another video from GardenBeast.com. Today, we're diving into the world of growing and caring for the delicious and versatile San Marzano tomatoes. These are an Italian heirloom variety cherished by chefs and home cooks worldwide for their superior taste and texture, especially in sauces. Begin by sowing seeds indoors about 6 to 8 weeks before the last spring frost. Use a seed starting mix in small pots and keep the soil warm and consistently moist. When the seedlings have at least two sets of true leaves and the danger of frost has passed, it's time to transplant them outdoors. Choose a spot with full sun and well-drained soil, rich in organic matter. The plants should be set deeply in the ground, with the lower leaves just above the soil surface, and spaced about two to three feet apart. San Marzano tomatoes prefer deep, infrequent watering. Aim for about one to two inches of water per week, more during hot, dry spells. Feed your plants with a balanced vegetable or tomato-specific fertilizer, starting when you transplant the seedlings, and continue every two to four weeks. Pruning your tomatoes will help to increase airflow around the plants, reducing the risk of disease. Make sure to stake or cage your plants to keep them upright and supported. Be on the lookout for common pests like aphids, tomato hornworms, and whiteflies, as well as diseases like early blight and fusarium wilt. Apply natural or chemical treatments as necessary. Harvest your San Marzano tomatoes when they are bright red and yield slightly to gentle pressure. Regular harvesting encourages more production. Store harvested tomatoes at room temperature away from direct sunlight. If you can't use them all at once, consider canning, drying, or freezing. If you've had a successful season, you might want to save some seeds for future planting. Just choose healthy, ripe tomatoes, squeeze out the seeds, and let them ferment and dry before storing. And there you have it. A guide to growing and caring for San Marzano tomatoes. With these tips, you're on your way to enjoying a bountiful harvest. For more gardening tips and advice, visit GardenBeast.com. Thanks for watching.